Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn and for today's topic, I am going to discuss how to become a Filipino citizen by naturalization. However, there are basic rules to remember. Only those who are native foreign nationals or native foreign citizens can become naturalized as a Filipino citizen. So if your parent is a Filipino and you have another parent who is a foreign national, this rule is not applicable to you because you are not a native foreign citizen. Native foreign citizen means that you don't have any affiliation to any Filipino citizen by family or by birth in a different country. The question is, why would native foreign citizens or foreign nationals would want to become a Filipino citizen? The number one reason is that there are property or land ownership in the Philippines. If you are a foreign national, you cannot own property in the Philippines and there are strict limitations. Also, you cannot practice your profession in the Philippines if you are a foreign national. So I'm only talking about native foreign citizens or native foreign nationals. But before we get started, please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Let's get started. There are actually three ways in which you can become a naturalized Filipino citizen. The first way is an act of Congress. So what does it mean? There must be an initiation from a member of Congress, either from the House of Representatives or Senate. I'm going to show you an example of Filipino naturalization by an act of Congress. There should be a bill introduced by a member of Congress, either from the House of Representatives or Senate. This is just an example, Republic Act Number no. 11826, an act granting Filipino citizenship to Kwok Yam Ian Chan. This was a bill granting Filipino citizenship to a British entrepreneur. It originated in the House of Representatives in 2021 and the Senate in 2022. So Chan currently owns and manages a diversified line of legitimate businesses that employ Filipinos and he has been contributing immensely to the Philippine economy. He actually organized the Love Plus Charity Foundation which has donated food, medical equipment and other items to frontliners and also the first organization to provide food and water assistance to affected families during a fire in 2020. This is actually not common, however this is attainable. The second way to become a Filipino citizen is by administrative naturalization. There is actually a law in the Philippines allowing you to become a Filipino citizen but these are only restricted to foreign citizens who were born in the Philippines. Administrative naturalization can be granted to aliens born and residing in the Philippines but subject to certain requirements dictated by national security and interest. The petition can be filed at the Office of the Solicitor General Special Committee on Naturalization. Here are the requirements if you wanted to avail of the administrative naturalization. You must be an alien born in the Philippines. You must also be residing in the Philippines since birth. Must not be less than 18 years of age at the time of filing of the petition. You must also be of good moral character and you must believe in the underlying principles of the Constitution. You must have good moral character during your entire period of residence in the Philippines. You must have received your primary and secondary education in any public or private educational institution recognized by the CHED. If you have children, the children must have enrolled in similar schools. You must also have a known trade, business, profession, or lawful occupation in which you can derive sufficient income to support your family or your dependents. 
Also, you must be able to read, write, and speak Filipino or any of the dialects of the Philippines. You must have mingled with the Filipino and you must show desire to learn and embrace the customs, traditions, and ideals of the Filipino people. The third way to become a Filipino citizen is through judicial naturalization, meaning to say you must file a petition in court to become a Filipino citizen. There are actually several requirements, but there are special privileges for those who are married to a Filipino citizen. Here are the requirements for judicial naturalization. If administrative naturalization is not possible, you will need a lawyer to go through judicial naturalization. Judicial naturalization can take about two to three years from the filing of the intention to become a Filipino. After filing the petition, there is a mandatory one-year waiting period before you start the court process itself. Here are the requirements for judicial naturalization. The first requirement is that you must be 21 years of age at the time of hearing of the petition. You must also have resided in the Philippines for 10 years. You must have good moral character and believe in the Philippine Constitution. You must have conducted yourself in an irreproachable manner with the government and the community you lived in. You must own real estate property, not less than 5,000 pesos, or must have some lucrative profession or trade. You must be able to speak and write English, Spanish, or one of the main Philippine languages, and must have minor children enrolled in CHED recognized school. The timeline for judicial naturalization is that it could take up to two to four years or two to three years to become a Filipino citizen. However, there is a waiting period after filing the petition. There are two requirements for judicial naturalization. The first requirement is that you must be residing in the Philippines for at least 10 years. However, there are exceptions to the 10-year residency requirement. There are actually two exceptions for the 10-year residency. First, if you are born in the Philippines, it will only be five years. Or if you are married to Filipino, it can only be five years. The second requirement is that you must have complied with a one-year waiting period before proceeding with this naturalization. However, there are exceptions to the one-year waiting period. The one-year period can be waived if you have continuously lived in the Philippines for 30 years or if you were born and educated in the Philippines in a shed recognized school not limited to a particular race for your primary and secondary education. If you are a Filipino citizen, you can buy as much land in the Philippines. There is no restriction. Also, if you are a Filipino citizen, there is no cap as to the 40% business ownership of foreign nationals. So you can own 100% of the business if you are a Filipino citizen. But if you are a foreign national, and you wanted to buy property in the Philippines or own a business or practice your profession, you are unable to do that because of the restrictions for foreign nationals. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you guys for watching and if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.